What's going on you guys? It's your girl Diana back at you with another YouTube video. Clearly I am not in my room. There is a ton of construction going on right now. This is my one and only chance to film this video because they're on a lunch break. So wish me luck. But you guys have been asking for an update on my vintage Pokemon card collection. I did just complete all of the original 151 cards from gen one. And now I'm starting to work on the gen two Johto cards. Like I mentioned in my original video, I'm not trying to complete any one set out of any of the different generations. I'm just collecting them in Pokedex order and just picking my favorite art style out of the different variations of all the cards. But with that intro out of the way, if you're new here, remember to hit the like button if you are a Pokemon fan so that we can push this video out into the YouTube algorithm so that more Pokemon fans can see it and we can all vibe and hang out together. And if you're new here and you're into anime, gaming, Pokemon, whatever, hit that subscribe button because I make all kinds of fun content on here. But let's hop into the updated collection. So since the last video, I have made upgrades to my binder. This is a Voltex binder since everyone was yelling at me for my three ring binder last time. I did also have one of my lovely TikTok followers send me a blue version of this binder. So I have one of those as well. It's just lost in the void right now because everything in my room is in boxes and trash bags until they're done with construction. So page one of my collection is probably my favorite and I love looking at it every time I open my binder. I just think it's so aesthetically pleasing. I love that I finally have all of the starters all put together and that all three of my final evolutions are in great condition. I had a couple of different Charizards to choose from from my childhood, so I picked the best one. And I recently got this Venusaur from Frank and Sons a couple of weeks back, so that was a super exciting find because he was in really great shape. Page two, of course. I'm pretty sure this was already all filled out the last time, but here is a good look at page two and three. Pages three and four. The Clefable and the Nidoqueen were the newest additions here. Someone actually pointed out to me on one of my TikTok videos that my Ninetales is shadowless, which I never actually paid attention to that because I don't really pay attention to whether my cards are shadowless or first edition or anything like that. I solely collect them for the aesthetic of them, but I thought that was pretty cool. It was a little fun fact for it. Next couple of pages are looking great. I do have a first edition Machamp, not that it means anything because I'm pretty sure those came in cereal boxes, but at least I have a couple of first edition cards, which are kind of cool. Oh, and this Alakazam over here was a new edition from Frankenstein's as well that I got a few weeks back too. Here are the next couple of pages. I love when the colors are like this, where it's like blue and purple because they go well together. I mean, Onyx kind of kills the vibe there, but what are you gonna do? I gotta go in Pokedex order. On this page, my newest editions that I got from Frankenstein were Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. I also got Kangaskhan and Chansey from Frankenstein's as well, but I got them a couple weeks before I got Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. On these two pages here, I actually had a couple of new additions. I had to get a hollow Mr. Mime, even though Mr. Mime is literally my least favorite Pokemon, but I had to get him in a hollow because he came in a hollow. I also got a pincer, which pincer was kind of hard to find for a good price. So I was glad that I was able to find one at a relatively decent price. And then I also got a Tauros, which I was missing for some reason. And then of course, I always have to point out that they did Vaporeon so dirty in this gen one card because why does he look like a rat? Please. I actually originally had a non hollow Jolteon on this page because I wanted to do a full page of evolutions and I wanted to save this hollow one for that page, but I decided to just put it here just because I like the way that it looked better than the non hollow. On this page, the newest edition here is the hollow Kabu tops. And then I also have a hollow Aerodactyl. One of my lovely TikTok viewers also sent me a first edition non hollow Aerodactyl. So I do have that one as well, but I just didn't have room for it on this page, but I do have it in a different binder. And on this page over here, I had a couple of different cards from viewers, which I love you guys for sending me these cards. This mole trace is from one of my viewers, as well as this ancient. Mew card. And that completes the entire Gen 1 set. Like I mentioned in my first video, this page over here is all of the gym leader cards that I like. For this particular page, I'm not trying to complete any one particular gym leader set, but I am still looking for Sabrina's Alakazam, Lieutenant Surge's Raichu, and Rocket's Mewtwo. And then this is where the real fun begins is my Gen 2 collection, which I am missing so many cards from still. I still need like all of the starters. I do have all of the first evolution starters, but clearly I only have one of the middle evolution and then none of the final ones. This page is definitely a little bit daunting since I know how expensive the final evolutions for the starters can be, but obviously I am missing almost all of the Johto cards. I did recently add this Ampros, this Yanma that actually has a Swirl on it. So I was really happy that I was able to find that and I got it at a pretty decent price. And then I also got this Hollow Unknown A card. I clearly am missing most of the unknowns as well. I am going to have to literally hunt these down one by one. They are so annoying. Not the lone unknown on this page, but clearly, like I said, I'm missing a ton of the Johto cards. I did also recently add this Steelix. Really like how these Steel type cards 
cards look. I just like the background on them. I think they look nice. And then I also recently got this Snubble and Granbull as well as this Deli Bird over here, which Deli Bird looks like a little creeper in this card. He looks like he's scheming and up to something. I don't know, I don't know what, what they were thinking with this art style, but I got him recently as well. And then I also recently got this Skarmory and I had to get it in a hollow because my car is literally named after this Pokemon. I couldn't do it dirty like that. And this was actually in my phone case. So I took this out of my phone case and put it in here. It's a hollow Kingdra. And then I also recently got this Smeargle, this Tyrogue and this Elect Kit. And then on this last page over here, obviously I'm still missing a ton of cards, but I want to say that this Tyranitar is going to be my favorite on this page. I just really like the way the card looks. I like that it's black and I like that he's a hollow. I think his art style looks really cool, but that's basically where the collection is at at this point. Point. So there is my updated collection. I am very proud of all of my Gen 1 cards being complete and I just this first page. Oof. Oof. I love it. I love looking at it. But let me know what you guys think of the collection and let me know if you have any suggestions that are in the Southern California area for where to get good deals on some vintage cards. I know that's asking a lot because they're vintage but help a girl out, help a homie out. <laughs> but that's gonna be it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing my updated vintage card collection and seeing how many Johto cards I actually need because it's an excessive amount. And hopefully I don't get trolled again for having a crappy binder because I have upgraded. I learned my lesson, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you.